Hi, my name's Doug, and I am the chef owner of the Uncommon Kitchen here in beautiful Tahoe City, California. And today we are going to be making one of our very popular items on our menu called the Rocco. It's a raw taco. It starts off with a red cabbage leaf, and we are going to fill it with some sprouted nut mixture that we've got walnuts and sunflower seeds and cashews in, as well as some salt and chili powder. And that goes in the base of the taco. That's gonna be the taco meat. And then an avocado slice or two. Then we are going to put in a mixture of green cabbage, carrots, and mung bean sprouts on top of that. Good heaping portion. Then we are going to take some of our delicious lemon tahini dressing and top the cabbage mixture with that. Then I have some salsa fresca to go on top of the cabbage. And then to finish it, we sprinkle it with some fresh cilantro. And there you have the Rocco Taco. We're gonna show you how to make some of the components of that next. First thing would be the taco shell which is uh, a red cabbage head that we're going to core and always keep the knife blade facing away from you while you core out the bottom of the cabbage. And then gently peel the leaves back and try to keep them intact. I'll do one more for you. So peel the leaf back There's our cabbage taco leaves. Then the next step is the sprouted nut mixture. And we're gonna use this food processor. What I have here is a mixture of walnuts and sunflower seeds and cashews that I've soaked for two hours. Those are going to go get drained and then go into the food processor. As well as some chili powder and some salt. There we have the nut mixture for the tacos. The next thing that we're going to make is the salsa fresca. We've got a metal bowl here. Uh, we're going to start with tomatoes. I'm using Roma tomatoes, and those get sliced and then diced. I'm using a serrated knife because sometimes tomatoes, the skins can be difficult to get through with a chef knife. So the serrated knife works great for tomatoes. And rough chop is fine. Gives it that rustic look. Those can go into our bowl.
Next, we are going to take a white onion, yellow onion, peel it, and we're only going to use half for this size batch. tomatoes. I'm going to take a cucumber, which I'm going to peel first. And we're only going to use half of this cucumber. I'm going to take a spoon and remove the seeds from the cucumber. And then dice this. into our bowl with the tomatoes and the onions. Then we have cilantro, which I like to chop mostly just the leaves, large chopped, so you can see what kind of herb it is. And a little bit of that into the salsa. I'm gonna save the rest of this for garnishing later. Then, a little bit of salt, have some toasted coriander, toasted cumin seed, black pepper, some chopped serrano chilies, small pinch of garlic, chopped. and some lemon juice. It's good to let this sit for 15-20 minutes and let the flavors marry. It's delicious salsa fresca. You could have it just with chips. But this is going to be on our Rocco. Here we have our mixture of sliced cabbage, carrots, and mung bean sprouts, which I don't feel it's necessary to show anybody how to prep. And the last thing is going to be our lemon tahini dressing. And that one starts with our mortar pestle. And we're going to take some toasted whole cumin seed. Put that into the mortar and grind that up a little bit, pound that. And then some chopped garlic and salt. And pound that really well until we have a, a nice paste formed with the garlic and the salt. Good. Then we have tahini paste. We'll go in there. And 
and some. First, let's put in the oil and rice vinegar and water that I've measured out. And then lemon juice. I'll go right into the mortar. Then I'm going to take my hand blender here and stick that right in and blend it together until it's all emulsified. like that. This is an excellent dressing for salad with some grilled fish. Can be used in many different recipes. And that's all of the prep that goes into making this beautiful Rocco taco. Bon appetit.